There's a bit of an argument that takes place from time to time in media. It goes like this. The, the first anchor says something like, White supremacists are peddling a conspiracy theory of white genocide and white replacement. They keep talking about how white people won't exist in the coming years, and it's just completely made up and fabricated. And anchor number two comes in and says, White people aren't going to exist in 20, 30, 50 years time. How awesome is that? So that is, is what we kind of see across the, the media spectrum right now. And then person number one who said that that, didn't, that wasn't happening, then joins the celebration because apparently um, the eradication of white people is not happening and if it is happening it's good. <laughs> that, that's the way you're supposed to see things. Now over in England there was a, a one instance of this taking place in which the author of the book The Last White Man no, really. Went on Sky News to pontificate about how wonderful it'll be when there are no more white people, which is the basis of his novel. And before I go on, I want to go ahead and show you this clip, all right? How might we want them to be? You know, how do we get there? And the novel tries to do a little bit of that. It tries to say, you know, what other way is there of living? Um, how might that be? What is the, in a sense, racial apocalypse where everybody becomes brown? Um, and maybe that racial apocalypse isn't an apocalypse at all. Maybe it's the beginning of something, you know, better. Yes, the beginning of something better. Now, maybe you don't say anything wrong with that clip. Maybe it doesn't generate any sort of emotional reaction. That's fine. But just imagine that it wasn't him talking about white people for a minute and see if you still have the same response. Because I thought about doing a skit, actually, uh, for this particular video, in which I was on Sky or the BBC or CNN or any of those, and I was celebrating the end of some ethnic tribe and how wonderful it was. And if that generates an emotional response, then you might want to kind of reevaluate why you have a certain emotional response to one and not the other. Maybe it's because you've been overexposed to one and you've become used to it. But that's the thing. I can't do that skit because even if I did, and even if it would be a joke as me doing it, that would probably be taken out of context perhaps years from now and I wouldn't live it down as, you know, cheering on the genocide or something like that, cheering on the eradication of another racial group. Um, but that's what happened on Sky News, and the guy that was there doing it wasn't expecting any sort of blowback. He wasn't expecting some career suicide as a result of it. He's entirely comfortable. And in fact, the Sky News interviewer doesn't push back at all. There's there's no question that perhaps there's something... What was that word that they would use if he was racist? If he was white? Yeah, racist. The, no, it doesn't happen this direction, you see. So you just have to imagine my skit, because I can't do it. But truth be told, I've never actually seen or heard a, a, a white supremacist herald the end of other races either. I've heard, you know, plenty of talks about like separation of, of, uh, of white people from others and building separate societies and all of that. But actually promoting and fantasizing about the entire elimination of the other racial groups, I think is pretty rare. <laughs> Except for in this other direction when it's becoming part of the norm, part of the established conversation, you might say. And remember, we're living in a society that teaches from academia, from the stance of uh, Hollywood, that we have a a society that's built upon white institutional oppression, that white people are so powerful in our society that they can keep everybody else down and that they do and they're oppressive towards other races and yet what you actually see reflected inside of that media is the very opposite that there's only one racial group that can be slanted that can be celebrated in the in the event of its elimination and that's that's white people um so that might you know bear some uh, time to think about. For anybody who hasn't been exposed to uh, what we're really talking about regarding the elimination of white people, it's it's the fact that birth rates in the the Western world, birth rates amongst Caucasians, are exceedingly low. And there is a leftist idea that the response to that, that the correct response to that, is to instead bring in, bring in immigration from various other points around the world 
to replace those people. That's called replacement migration. Um, and that's not the only solution. The other solution, the one that makes more sense, is to encourage you know, birth rates, to applaud life, to celebrate life, right, by getting rid of abortion, but also making it easier for people to have children and to raise them. And you often see that amongst Christian groups, charities, Catholics, a lot of that happens there. You also might see it in a case of like, if you look over at Viktor Orban, the, uh, the president or prime minister, I don't know which it's called, of Hungary, and he decided to introduce tax breaks to encourage married couples to have have more kids and that did result in an increased birth rate which is what leftists say simply cannot happen instead over here you've got like leftist media figures celebrating that white people eventually will not exist because of these really low birth rates and there's nothing we should do about it in fact it's wonderful and, and there's something seriously wrong with this entire picture and i don't think there's anything wrong with saying so you made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are a lot more that you can choose from. And also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.